Zoom. All right, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kathy McReynolds. I am your fun money and skill coach, guys. Welcome today to our 21 day boot camp on getting your business started online. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive right in. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, guys. And if you can drop in the comments, just let me know if you can see the screen that I am sharing for you. It should be a PowerPoint that comes up. Give me one second here. Let me know if the screen is on, if you can see the screen. I am also looking on the line and I don't see the screen popping up yet. I know we got a little delay, but go ahead and do me a favor. I think it's popping up right now. Guys, I'm excited to be here with you today to be able to talk to you and share with you how you can grow a business online. So let's go ahead and get started. Do me a favor, smash that share button, guys, so we can help some people out. We're going to be here every single day for the next 21 days. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Success starts here. This is 21 days to jumpstart your business online master summit course. So guys, you got to ask yourself this question. Is starting a business right for you? Because it's not for everybody. And we know that we will very well understand that. So I want to ask you that question. Is starting a business right for you? So here's what I want you to do. We want to get you, get your mind right. It's about getting your mind right when you're looking at running your business, designing your business plans. These are the things we're going to go over for the next 21 days. We're going to talk to you about how to make your business legal. You want to legalize it so that you can leave it generations. It's one thing to get started, but it's another thing to create wealth from it from generation to generation down. We're going to talk about different products or services that you can market. But some of the things that you want to do and make happen, there's an ant, y'all. <laughs> or some of the things that you want to make happen. We also are going to talk to you about understanding business financials and how they work, how to understand your business financials. If you don't understand your money, it's going to get away from you. And also how to scale and fund your business. This training normally Every single time we do it is about an hour or so, but I'm going to run through it in less than 30 minutes, guys. So there's 21 basic learning tools, 21 days that you're going to get a basic learning tools. You're going to get things like daily action step. Every single day, we're going to have an action step for you to do. So you want to be able to keep up with that action step. You're also going to have checklists. See, I don't want to leave anything undone. A lot of times we'll get something started, but however, it doesn't go all the way through the end. I wanna take you from start to finish and getting the business started. You can actually do that, guys. And you're gonna have some worksheets, some quizzes. We're gonna quiz you on my singing, just kidding. Um, I'm gonna provide the resource guides for you so you're not gonna have to worry about, well, where do I go to look for something? I'm gonna help you with that. And then we're gonna hit you with a final exam. Why do you wanna have an exam? So that you test your knowledge. Did you get it up? Did you get it running? Did you get it started? And then guess what? We got graduation. You did it, you did it, you did it. We're going to recap and review on day 22. We're going to go over your perfection checklist and give you something to look forward to on the next, you know, 90, but before the end of the year is out, along with your final exam. We're going to have graduation and celebration online and in person, guys. So if you're local to me, we're going to make this thing happen. I'm excited about it. And we're going to introduce our next series of training when this is all over. So if you stick around to the end, I got a bonus secret for you at the end of it. There will definitely be a bonus secret. So here's what day one is about. Day one is about seeing if entrepreneurship is right for you. 
is entrepreneurship right for you? That's what you want to look at, guys, because it's not for everybody. So let's talk about who this training is for. If you're that person online who want to start or grow a business, then you want to tune in. If you desire winning business concepts, if you desire to have some winning business concepts, then this is for you. You're in the right place. And if you want to learn how to market online, you're definitely in the right place and you want to understand how to scale and grow your business or you want to create financial freedom and a fun lifestyle for your family man if i get on here and i sing and i know i can't trust me we're going to make sure you're bold enough to do the things necessary to make things happen for yourself but i also like to say who this training is not for if you're that know-it-all person and you feel that you can't learn anything from anybody, this is not for you. You might want to just go ahead and bypass this live, right? If you think you're the only one who can come up with a good idea, then people, it just needs to be you to be successful. It takes a team to hit any dream. If you think you can avoid paying taxes by deducting everything, I hear so many people say, man, I just want to get a business started so I don't want to pay taxes. Get excited about paying lots of money in taxes because that's mean that means you're making money and if you believe owners only have to do what they like to do then this is definitely not for you guys I think it's important to say who is not for and if you want to spend hours and hours and hours learning but not implementing this is not a training you want to be on. You want to be, this is something you're going to have to put in work for. And if you have zero desire to build a business online, of course you wouldn't be on here. There are no shortcuts, guys, and this is not a get rich quick thing. This is work. It requires work to create success. All of that stuff just leads to you being burned out feeling exhausted and tired from too much stress. And we don't want that. We want you to have fun while you're getting it done. My name is Kathy McReynolds. For those of you who are new, don't know who I am, I help people go into business for themselves. I help entrepreneurs, network marketers, affiliate marketers. My goal is to help you to increase your skill set, your mindset, and to have fun while you're getting this done, guys, as well as being an online business strategist. I want to be able to help you take your life to that next level. So let's talk a little bit about me real quick, because you might be saying, well, why should I even pay attention to this girl? Well, a little bit about me. I'm just a kid from Akron, Ohio, right? Um, I grew up shy and sheltered, and I say shy and sheltered because I had a big family, and our family, we were we had 36 first cousins, and we were the ones who we grew up with, and a few friends that stayed in the neighborhood. So my parents always kept us busy and on the block, on our street. We were either there at school, at home, at church, somewhere that we were sheltered. So at 19, I decided to move away from home with the blessing of my parents six hours away. I'll never forget at that time, uh, my dad said to me, he said, baby, go out there and find a way to own your own business. This was at 19 years old. He said, I gave my life to a company for 40 years. Don't do that. And of course, did we listen? Not for the first, you know, 10 or so years of life. And it wasn't until I hit, I think, 32 that I finally got what he meant because I got burned out by corporate America. I had reached a ceiling at, I think, 60,000 or 70, something like that. I don't even remember so long ago, but I couldn't go any further because I dropped out of college and I didn't have a college degree. And that's what they wanted, even though I was their number one producer in running their stores. Guys, I'm just an introvert who loves to win. So you don't have to be that person who's that outgoing person. You just got to have a desire in you that's greater than not winning. Uh, you know what? I, nothing I do will ever be perfect, okay? Nothing I do will ever be perfect, but I guarantee you this, I'm going to always be an action taker. And that's what I want to pass on to you. Always be an action taker. I'm an auntie to me. 
many, international coach and trainer. I've been a licensed financial advisor for 20 years, business owner. I made up in money and lost money in a couple of businesses, online business strategy, and I am who I am without apology. You know, take it or leave it. It's just me, baby. So let's rock with this. Let's make it happen. So why did I decide to become a fun money and skill coach? Why did I decide to do that? Number one is because I think people should have fun. People don't have enough fun in life. You know, you look at people's face and they're like, yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to tell your daggone face you're excited. Then be happy. You know, as I grew up in businesses, I credit my mentors for this. We had fun while we were getting it done. Everybody was taking punches, but we were playing while we were taking punches. So I want you to be able to have enjoyment in life. Life is short. You only get so much of of it so enjoy it experiences create who you are i wouldn't take any of my failures for anything i remember when 2008 happened i had lost my house my mercedes i lost everything and i moved back to akron and all i thought okay so most people would have been devastated all i thought is i got me and as long as i got me and i got god on my side i could do anything i can build it over i remember saying to my niece give me two weeks i just need two weeks just to get things going again so i decided for one year out of that time period to take a, a job longest year of my life but i guarantee you this the people that i work with becoming a financial advisor at the bank they even said it man we've had so much fun with you being here but i knew something inside of me was like you can't do this you weren't built to do this so after a year and a couple months i went out on my own so over the last 20 years the only paycheck that i've accepted from someone was for about a year and a half and guys it's about that desire and so and then when you're having fun while you're getting it done this a diversion too because sometimes business can get the best of you sometimes it sucks see i'm not here to sugarcoat anything for you i want you to know the real deal i want you to know there'll be days when you pull 24 hours there'll be days when you're working non-stop but it won't always be like that why money of 20 years of being a financial advisor most people don't understand money they get it in and they spend it you know before that paycheck arrives it's already spent they don't know where it's coming from not understanding that the assets you know you are your greatest assets when i asset when i ask most people what's your greatest asset They'll tell me their house or material thing. No, baby, it's you. You, you can go create whatever you need to create. And see, we hold on, people hold on to money like it's their last dime instead of taking those resources to flip them and, and make more from it. Understand, it's not yours. It is not your money from the get-go. It has been given to you so to see if you will make it grow or if you hold on to it so if you are that person who's hold on to tight to something money will never flow to you because your hands are closed they're so tight and closed you can't release you got to release it and let it come back to you and then guys skill set is a must you have to develop an expertise at whatever it is you decide you want to win at there's no way around it if you want to get good you got to find something worth getting good at and you got to put in the time and the effort because what that does it builds competency in you it gives you a mastery it takes about four years to develop that mastery where you know that you know and then you put yourself around people so you can grow to that next level. So I'm going to talk to you guys about your commitment versus my promises to you over this next 21 days. Okay. Remember today is about mindset because before I get into all the nitty gritty of what you need to do, I need to work on your mind. 
I need you to understand that this time, this time you're going to win. This time is going to be different. So number one, I was listening um, to Russell Bronson. I mean, this guy makes millions upon millions and millions, and I'm in a, a challenge that they're doing, and they start talking about this, and I thought, man, you know what? This is good. I need, I need to share this with you guys. So number one, you got to show up on time. I mean, on time, here's how I grew up. My dad coach, right? And my, my mentors, they always told me, if you show up 15 minutes early, then you're on time, okay? So if you show up exactly at the time, you're late. So get in the habit of showing up on time. When you show up on time, I'm gonna give you everything I got. That I'll promise you. You gotta be hungry. You gotta be hungry. See, I can't teach you to be hungry that that's something that's inside of you but if you are hungry i'm going to show you how to eat i'm going to show you how to take care of yourself and do the things that you need to do and then number three you got to forget the past you got to i mean even what happened five minutes ago you got to be willing to let that go to forget the past because if you forget the past i'm going to lead you to the future and then guys this is a pet peeve of mine it's a pet peeve it's a pet peeve it's a pet peeve have no excuses excuses will not get you anywhere in life but where you're at so when you catch yourself about to make an excuse eliminate it start saying to yourself how can i Oh, well, you know what? I can't be here every day because I have to work. Well, how can I? Are you going to have it on recording? Start asking questions, right? If you make excuses, I'm going to call you out. I'm going to call you out on that because I'm committed to helping people to win. I'm committed to helping people to change their life. And I want you to also, guys, ignore the naysayers politely. Ignore the naysayers. I'm sure I got naysayers on here right now. I'm sure I got people watching like, what is she talking about on here? And you know what? You may care for about 2.2 seconds, but you want to learn to ignore them. I always think of, when I think of ignoring the naysayers politely, I think of when Barack Obama was president in his first year, okay? Regardless of what your political background is, Here's what happened. They're in Congress, and I don't know what was going on, but all of a sudden, which has never happened before, someone yelled, you liar, right? A congressman did that. And the, the poise that he had, the, the, the dignity, the respect, the self-respect that he chose to show in that moment. Or when Martin Luther King, you know, was marching, trying to change rights, the, the, the poise that he had during that moment, that's what you want to have. Because when you do that, I promise you, I'm going to create a safe environment. I'm going to create an environment where you as an entrepreneur, are gonna, you're going to feel safe and and protect it that you can be in our environment and you're going to get cheerleaded we're going to cheerlead your success here's another thing you don't want to do guys remember we're working on your mindset right don't compare yourself to someone else that's a big one don't compare even if you know i have people who we all started out together they some of them are here some of them are here you can't compare yourself to somebody else's journey. You don't know what their background is, how long they've been around. So you can't compare your chapter one or two to their chapter 10 or 12 because experience shapes you, your environment shapes you. So don't compare. If you don't compare yourself, I'm gonna give you measurable targets. I'm gonna give you targets that you can measure and you know that you're on track to create success. Here's another big one. I need you to find solutions before you ask a question. Why is that important? Why, you're like Kathy, but you're teaching me. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna teach you some things, but you know how you, you, you say if you teach someone to fish, they'll fish 
for life, but if you feed them, you'll feed them for life. So you have to be solution oriented. Entrepreneurs get paid for solving problems. So you have to understand how to solve problems. You know what? They created this great thing called Google. You can get on it and you can look up just about anything you got a question on. And then this is how you come back. You know, so, hey, Kathy, I was looking up X, Y, Z on Google. This is what I read, but I'm not quite understanding this part. So can you help me with this part? See, that's, I went and I did the homework. I looked something up. I got an answer, but I'm not understanding the answer. So when you do that, I'm gonna question you to an answer. Instead of giving you an answer, I'm gonna question you to an answer because when that happens, you know how to go make something happen. I always tell people, do things as if I died today so that you can go do it yourself without me around. I also need you to do this. I need you to find time to win. You, you gotta stop with the excuses. You know. Stop watching TV. Stop watching, um, I don't even know what's on, right? Whatever's on TV, whatever hour you spend on TV, cut it out for the next 21 days. See, this is a time for you to do something unique and different and then finish 2018 uh, uh, on top and in action, in motion, so that your 2019 will be the best ever. Because if you find a time to win, because yeah, you're gonna be on here for 20, 30 minutes, but I need you to go do some homework after this, right? So we're talking an hour to two hours a day. You should be willing, bare minimum, to commit to change your life. You do that and I'm gonna give you value. The next one, guys, I need you to take action whether you're ready or not. So if I give, if I call the play, run it, whether you're ready or not, you got to trust in the process. You got to trust in your trainer. Okay. When you trust in the process and you trust in your training, you're going to move forward. I'm going to cheerlead your movement. See, I want to see you win here. We both have a financial, we both have a financial win and you winning. We both can win. I want to use, utilize you to become a testimony so that we can help other people so that we can create more trainings and more programs. And then guys, don't watch the clock. Don't be looking at your clock, whether it's how long are you talking today or if we're on day 10, oh my God, we got 10 more days left. This is how I want you to think about this. People will spend $30,000, $40,000, $50,000, $100,000 to get a four or five year degree only to make fifty dollars to $60,000. You spend all of that time to make that much money. I remember when I told you guys of the story of me coming back to town and when I left that bank after that year, in six months of leaving that bank, I went over six figures in income in that short period of time because I was focused on making something happen. And so if you don't watch the clock, I'm going to help you condense time frames. I'm going to, every mistake that I made, I'm going to remove those mistakes from you so that you can just get it done quicker. That's the importance of having a mentor and a coach. Be honest. Be honest with yourself is what I need you to do. I mean, like I say, I'm fat. Why? Because I gained like 60 pounds. Why? Because I ate too much. It, it's like you get that way because of what you did. Be honest about where you're at and when you're on and that doesn't mean just because you're honest doesn't mean that you're not practicing self-love because i love me to me whether i'm small or whether i'm big but i'm honest with where i'm at and i'll be brutally honest with you in a nice way and be all in guys no toe dippers here no toe dippers because if you're sticking your toe on the side of the pool you're not gonna win and as i 
said, we're doing this to create winners. We're doing this to help other people create a six-figure income for themselves and their family. And you may be listening, thinking, man, I've never even made over 20, 30, 40,000 a year. How can I do that? I get that. Don't worry about that right now, but we're not here just to show you how to make an extra 500 or $1,000 a month. We're here to show you how to change your life. So decide to finish different. Decide this time is the time that you're going to finish different, that you're going to do something different. And if you do that, I'm going to see you through the finish line. I'm going to see you to you starting your business and getting it going. We're going to be there to help you create success and document that success along the way. So guys, I just need you to believe it's possible for you. I just want you to understand that it is possible for you. I grew up on Euclid Avenue. If you know anything about Akron, Ohio, had no idea of what I wanted to create in life. And if I can do it, you can do it. So I want to crush your false belief and your fears. I want you to write down, okay? Every time you show up here, you should show up here with pen and paper. I want you to write down your doubts and fears because when you write them down, you bring them out. We all have doubts and fears. I'm sitting here getting ready for this. And I'm like, okay, here we go. Here we go. And then you know what? That person in your head start talking about, well, what if, what if it doesn't come on? What if nobody gets on? You know, what, what if people don't like it? And I'm like, so? Okay, so what? Get out my head. Like, you got to talk to yourself like that. You got to tell that doubt. What? So step aside. I don't care what you say. I got this. I'm winning this time. This time I'm going to be a champion at a higher level. Don't be afraid to say what you fear. Speak it out loud and then speak what you're going to do. You got to speak things as though they are. Be specific to get terrific. Identify yourself. Examine where you're falling short at so that you can go to a whole new level. Level And remember, when you bring them out, you remove that doubt. You keep it in and you're going to always stay where you're at. So what, until you get to the point where you put it on paper or you tell it to someone and you do both, you got to get that crap out of you. It would be like being backed up all of this time and you got to go take a dump and you can't get it out, right? You know how crappy that feels. That's how life feels when something is burning inside of you and you know you are meant to do more than what you're doing. That's why you're watching this now. And I want to I want you to figure out how you're going to crush those fears over the next 21 days and beyond, guys. It takes 21 days just to get that habit started. It takes about 72 days before to really get in motion and you begin Began to create that life and that business that you desire. So I want to go over today's action steps with you. Here are today's action steps because today was strictly about your mindset. Number one, I'm going to drop a questionnaire in the comments. It's about 25 to 30 questions. It's a questionnaire that you want to complete and fill out because it's going to help you decide where you're at today. And then I also want you to write down your three biggest fears about creating a business. What do you fear? You know, do you fear that you won't make it? Did you, do you fear that it won't be popular? Do you fear you don't have enough money to get started? Whatever it is, I need you to write it down at least three of them, okay? You may start with 10, and then I want you to scratch it out and come up with the big three, your big three, because we're going to deal with those big three, your biggest three, because once you deal with those big three, anything else you'll be able to deal with. Here's what we do. We figure out what is the worst case scenario. What is the worst thing that can happen? Once we figure out what the worst thing is that can happen and we learn to accept that and have a plan for that, oh, okay, cool. I got that. I, I got that. When I lost everything and I came back here, that wasn't the worst thing that could happen because I knew 
who I was and I knew what I can go recreate. So I'm like, okay, cool. Now, if I lost my voice, my ability to walk and talk and move, I don't even know if that would be the worst because I'm going to figure out a way around that. And see, all of that came from years of training and trial and error and losing and wanting to quit along the way, but unable to do it. So I want you to write down three reasons. Also, guys, why are you going to do it anyway? Why, why are you going to do it anyway? Three reasons that even though I got those fears, here's three reasons why I'm going to crush it anyway. Write that down. I need three. And then write down why you fear success. Now, let me make sure I say that again. I need you to write down why you fear success. See, some people fear success because they think, man, if I go do all of this, I'm going to have to keep doing it forever. Or man, then people are going to always expect this of me. I need to know most people fear success than they do failure. Why is that? Because they're not going to try anyway, so they don't feel failure, right? But they fear success. So I need you to write down three reasons why you're fearing success. And then, see, this, what I'm teaching you right now is more important than all the how-tos that I'm going to teach you later. Because if you get this mental mindset right, they can take everything from you today, but you're going to go get it back because you're, you're built, you know how they say forward strong? You're built entrepreneur strong. You're built mentally tough. Nobody can knock you off your game. Nobody can tell you what you can't do because you're tough. And this is what we got to breed. We got to breed toughness. Everybody don't get a trophy in this game, right? You got to earn that trophy. Then write down three ways your life will change because of success. What will change about your life? Will you be able to travel and do what you want to do? Will you be able to give to your favorite charity? Will you be able to pay for your parents' living expenses? What is it that you will be able to do because you created massive success because of you? Will you be able to give to your church? Will you be able, you know, what will you be able to do because you created success? So I need you to complete that before tomorrow. And if I was you, soon as this is over, I would go ahead and get it done. Knock it out. Here's why you want to show up tomorrow, guys. Because if you don't, you're going to get left behind. Because we're going to do some great things here. We're going to create some massive success. And if you don't, you're going to get left behind. And you're going to figure out tomorrow why building online is a must. I was listening to something about billionaires in the Forbes magazine and how they create it. And then I had one of my mentors break that down as to how you can take that same success and create it online. So I'm going to show you how you can create wealth here online. And you may say, well, you haven't done that yet. How are you going to teach? You can always teach something as you're in the process of getting it, right? You can make that happen as you're in the process of making that happen. So I'm going to show you how to get a business started. And I didn't got plenty of those started, right? Created some success in them, some failures in them, but I learned from everything. And you learn more from your failures than you do your success. And I'm going to take you step by step by step and show you exactly what it takes to win and become successful. So guys, over the next 21 days, if all this did was help you be become more confident as a person, would it be worth it? If all it did was help you decide if entrepreneurship is for you, would it be worth it? That's important, you know, because sometimes you, you keep toe dipping, dipping in it, thinking about it. You just got to get in it and see if it's for you. If it's not, then it's okay. Let it go. Do what you're doing. Take your vacations, enjoy your life. Life is short. It is not meant for everybody to create their own paycheck. You either going to be a work processor or you're going to be a work creator. And so I want you to decide 
weather is for you. It's like, you know, you're on that, you at the edge of the pool. We're going to push you in and you're going to be like, I'm either going to come up swimming or I'm going to be like, you know what? Throw me a life vest in there. I, I, I'm cool. I don't have to do this. And either way is okay. I'm going to make sure you have a step-by-step -step game plan and we're going to create a winning fun, exciting environment for you. And I'm going to help you create that lifestyle you desire, guys. As I said, I want to help people create success because as we build our training program and our systems as they come, I want to, testimonies. I want to be able to point at hundreds of people and say, this is what we were able to do. You know, the goal is to get over the next 12 to 18 months, seven to 10 people to make over a hundred grand. And then we want to 10 times that over the next five years, over the next 10 years, five to 10 years, we want to create millionaires. We're going to change this industry as we know it, guys. And we're going to make some things happen together. So I need you to show up and I need you to make some things happen for yourself. So over the next 21 days, expect to be challenged. Expect the basics of building online. Expect to get daily tasks and complete them. Expect a community of fun and learning because this training, okay, I'm going to leave it up for 23 hours because this training will, is part of our training that is a paid training course, but I'm going to leave it up for 23 hours so you have time to watch the replay. And then after that, guys, you're going to have to buy it, right? Challenge yourself every day to do better and be better. Remember, growth starts with a decision, a decision to move beyond your present circumstances. So at the end, I said, if you stick around, you got a bonus. What I'm going to do is I'm going to also give you a free PDF download of Think and Grow Rich. And then you also, when you turn in your assessment that you have to turn in, you're going to get a free 30-minute coaching session with me so I can help you review that and get your game plan on point. So guys, I just took about two hours worth of training and tried to condense it down. So I hope this brought you value tonight. If you got questions, I have my phone here. You can drop them in the comment section. I will get those. After that, once we're done here, I want you to go ahead and tune in tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. or catch the live. I'll hit questions. We'll talk about last night, tonight, in the morning okay so if you got questions right now i'll give you a few seconds to ask questions today 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 was just about mindset so you got to make sure you're here tomorrow so when we dive in to get to the technical side you 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 are there to learn every single day every single step of the way you want to make sure you make that happen. So any questions, any questions while I'm looking at the comment section? Let's see, let's see. Somebody said, will there be playbacks? Uh, yes, the, this will be up for 23 hours. After that, guys, it will be locked in the vault until after the training is over. So make sure that you are catching it. So you can go ahead, this live is on here. You can go ahead, I'm laughing at Kenny saying his ears. So if you were on in the beginning, I was singing and I can't sing, but I still made it happen. All right, are you still in Akron? Uh, I'm right outside of Akron, yes I am, sir. Absolutely. Any other questions? All right, guys, well, I'm going to hop off here. If you got more questions, go ahead and make sure that you get those to us. I hope tonight brought you tremendous value. And um, I appreciate you guys, and we will see you next time. See you tomorrow, 7.30 p.m., same time. Be ready to learn about how to kickstart your business and get it legal. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. See ya. Let's get a little music on. Let me see if I can get it. Get it on. Just this for you, Kenna, Kenny. Like, well, maybe not. Okay, it ain't coming on quick enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this. Oh, I'm gonna win. I am a champion. I am a champion.
Alright, y'all. See ya.